Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. No, I'm not doing well, not at all. One of my favorite people in the entertainment industry died today, and that is the funny lady herself, uh, Miss Betty White. And uh, I made a little tribute video to her and uh, uploaded it. So uh, if you wanna check that out, just kind of my thoughts on her, and uh, you can go ahead and do that. And uh, on top of that, my back has been not doing so well the past couple days. Uh, if you don't know, I do have a back problem. And, uh, you know, uh, there's times when I can work out and things are okay. And then there's times I work out and things just kind of tweak it a little bit. So, kind of been in that tweaked area mode for the last mm, two or three days. But uh, I'm still working out, still cycling, you know, spinning on the bike and uh, still doing my walks every day and everything. Can't stop, guys. But I'm not quite as upbeat and for that, I apologize. The body beat down is definitely beating his body down. So on to more important things, guys. Today is back day. Now, I would like to say I'm gonna go nice and heavy and kick some butt in my little gym here, but I'm not gonna go heavy at all. I'm gonna take it easy and uh, just get this workout over and done with. I'm going to actually only showcase one movement today, and it's one that I don't do very often at all. Uh, 10 years may go in between doing this exercise, but we're gonna focus on that today. And that movement is called in my opinion, it's called the chest supported dumbbell row. And I'm gonna demonstrate that to you and uh, tell you what I think about it and a couple of different little tweaks and variations that you can put into uh, the movement uh, to maybe fill it in, in different areas of the back. So let's get on that exercise. We're gonna start out with that today actually. And uh, let's get on that. All right guys. We're gonna get into position here. You see I got the pad at an incline. I have the back, the uh, seat, bottom part at an incline as well. I can put my feet back here like so. Get yourself situated here on the pad. Now with mine, you have to watch out for this knob right here because you will hit your hand. You grab dumbbells like so, and get your face rested decently on the pad here. We'll get a good stretch. We're gonna come up, and we're gonna get a good squeeze. Okay? Now you're not coming straight up. You're coming at, you're pulling at an angle. A little bit of an angle guys and you can tweak it to where you're up here a little more or back here just a little more and it might make it more of an up more of a straight row but generally speaking you want to just try and get a good uh, controlled movement when you're doing these and uh, get a good squeeze in the back so let's get let's get a set One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm gonna try and show you with this empty dumbbell here, kind of something that I do. Now, when I'm laying down and my chest is supported here and my arms are straightened out, sometimes I'll get the back part of the dumbbell or sometimes I'll get the front part of the dumbbell or somewhere in between. And believe it or not, the slightest movement of that dumbbell front and back 
can put just a little bit more emphasis or a different feeling into the movement. It's subtle, but you can feel it. If you're taking your time and you really uh, just listen to your body and feel it, uh, you can feel that there's a slight difference. Anytime you rotate these handles like left and right, like so, here or up here, front to back, anywhere in between there, you're gonna feel just a slight bit of difference. And it's always fun and interesting to me to kind of uh, do that even as I'm doing the movements. Uh, so if I had a better camera person, <laughs> other than myself trying to video and do the movement, I could get it maybe a little, and you could see that I'm actually moving the weights around a little bit as I'm working out. So let's do another set, guys. Um, as of right now, I'm just sticking with the 30s. Again, this is my first movement, and I am doctoring a cruddier back than normal. So uh, let's get on to another set, guys. All right, we're on set number two, guys. Let's try and get a view here. Uh, again, if you have a knob like this on your bench, you need to watch that. Okay? Now notice right now, I'm holding the back end of the dumbbells. By the time I'm done, I'll probably be holding the front. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, see how my hands have changed? 11, 12. Okay, so let's go into the third set. And uh, I, I went ahead and grabbed the 35s um, for this set. And we'll try and get a little better view to see if you can see the way I'm kind of pulling back with the weights. And uh, yeah, just give you a few different views of this movement. It's okay to uh, take your time with stuff like this to show people because, you know, it's really about a, a learning purpose uh, for everyone. And uh, I hope that uh, you see something that you like and maybe you try it. And uh, let me know in the comments if you do or if you have. All right. So let's get on this next set with the 35s and I'll try and really uh, show you how you bring them back. Okay, I'm set up now, and uh, let's get this set going, guys. Okay, we're going to show how we're pulling back with the weights. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys. This set here, I went ahead and went up to 40 pounds. We'll kind of get you a view from behind and uh, see if you can see, uh, you know, the bringing up of the elbows and squeezing of the back. All right, here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so there we did. I only did four sets of these tonight. Um, again, the the magic is all in the dumbbell and how you hold it and how it pivots in your hand. You know, uh, it could pivot like this. It could pivot like this. You could have it more back here. You can have it more up here. And get yourself nice and planted against the seat. Yeah, sometimes it's not real comfortable. And some seats are a little shorter than mine. My seat's really long like that. And so, you know, I can't get my face up above it. But some of them are a little shorter. But I'm okay with it. Um, just make sure you're planted nice and firmly in there. And if you can, it's always nice to raise that 
uh, bottom part up because it helps to keep you seated in there nice and snug. So get in there, get yourself comfortable, grab those dumbbells and get you nice controlled uh, slow movements and uh, get you a good stretch whenever you stretch out and come back up and squeeze them shoulders and uh, you're going to find that uh, you're going to uh, have little sore spots that you might not have known you had maybe in a day or two after you do these so i hope you enjoy these again i call them chest supported two arm dumbbell rows something like that simultaneous dumbbell rows so Anyway, I enjoy doing them and there's a lot of versatility with dumbbells uh, that you can, uh, you can have a lot of fun with. So, hope you enjoyed this little episode on uh, the Body Beatdown. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And if you don't mind, no more deaths in 2021, okay? Can we get through tonight? Have a good New Year's Eve, a good New Year's Day. Be safe, guys, and don't forget, get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. And we'll see you next time on The Body Beatdown with me, Michael, your incredible host. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it!